To understand the characters and motives of the most odious Roman emperors, it is necessary to know their immediate environment. Julia Augusta Agrippina made a significant contribution to the formation of the personalities of Caligula and Nero, who left posterity the most unpleasant memories. She was nobler than ever, was great-granddaughter to Augustus and grandniece to Tiberius. Her father, Drusus the Elder, a successful general, for victories over the Germans received the honorary title of Germanicus. Mother, Agrippina the Elder, contrary to custom, accompanied her husband in all campaigns. Famous for steadfastness and courage, she and her children were with her husband in the camp during the rebellion of the legionaries, and it was she who in a critical situation did not allow to burn the bridge across the Rhine, waiting for the return of Drusus with the legions from the campaign. A most noble family. And it should happen that the children of such parents, having reached the power, not on a joke went wild. After Tiberius died, Agrippina's brother Caligula became emperor. He gave her and his two other sisters, Drusilla and Livilla, unheard of honors, including the rites of Vesta Loca. But the maidens were not going to observe the corresponding duties. The four of them arranged in the imperial palace such a nest of debauchery that surprised even very tolerant in this matter Romans of all classes. Caligula quickly got everyone. After four years of rule, he was stabbed by his own guards. Emperor became Claudius, one of the few rulers of Rome who left a more or less good memory. According to contemporaries, Agrippina was a woman ambitious, imperious, despotic, and ruthless. She set a goal, to achieve for her son Nero's supreme power, and to achieve it did not stop at anything. As a result of much intrigue, she became the wife of Claudius, although she was his niece and was much younger than him. At the end of the combination, Agrippina poisoned her hubby with his favorite dish, mushrooms, so she presented to her 16-year-old son the domination over a huge state. Although the first years actually ruled, she thought that it will always be so. However, the son grew up and began to be weighed down by excessive tutelage. In addition, there was a confrontation of parties Agrippina and Seneca, Nero's mentor. The second group won. Agrippina excommunicated from the court and deprived of all honors. And since she did not accept the defeat and continued to intrigue, grateful son decided to kill her. Several attempts at poisoning ended unsuccessfully, did not pass, and the number with a collapsed ceiling in the bedroom. Agrippina saved the backs of the bed. Nero also failed to drown his mother. Specially designed ship collapsed, but she swam well and was able to save herself. Then Nero lost patience and simply sent to her centurion with an order, which he faithfully executed. Curiously, the Senate faithfully rushed to congratulate the Emperor on the miraculous rescue from a dangerous plot. Agrippina lived only 43 years, most of them, in debauchery, troubles, intrigues and worries about their own greatness, and brought up a worthy son at the hands of whom she died.